Hello YouTube family and friends. I'm Jim and welcome back to another Photon Rookie video. Today we're going to look at two objects taken by the Sea Star. We're going to look at M8, the Lagoon Nebula, and we're going to look at M45, the Pleiades Star Cluster, otherwise known as the Seven Sisters. Both of these objects can actually be seen with the naked eye. And at the end of the video we're going to have a bonus picture taken with my smartphone. Uh, I think you'll really like that image, so stick around till the end. So let's get started and have a look at these objects. Here is the raw, unprocessed image of the Lagoon Nebula. This is one of the most popular objects to image with the Sea Star because of its brightness and the details that you can get from it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this image after it's been processed to bring out clarity and detail. This nebula is one of the most beautiful images I think I've taken with the sea star, which is surprising because I only had the telescope observing it for just under three hours. The Lagoon Nebula is 4,100 light years from Earth, or 24,600 trillion miles. In this image, it looks almost like you're looking down into a tunnel, like a cave. It's a uh, a lot of detail, a lot of structure around it, and you can actually see it in the night sky with binoculars. It'll appear as like a smudgy cloud with a bright core in the middle. Just for fun, I applied the Hubble palette to this nebula to bring out the blue tones where there was oxygen in the nebula. Which one of these renderings do you like? Do you like the original or do you like this Hubble palette better? Let me know down in the comments. Our next object is M45, the Pleiades star cluster. Here is the image straight out of the sea star. It's been stacked, but has not been processed yet. Let's have a look at the image after it's been processed. The Pleiades, also known as the Seven Sisters, is an open star cluster in the Taurus constellation that's visible from the northern hemisphere between October and April. In the months of November and December, it's visible to the naked eye all night long and very easy to spot. The Pleiades are about 440 light years from Earth, which is a relatively close 2,640 trillion miles. Now let's have a look at that bonus image that I promised you that I took with my smartphone a few nights ago. This is a picture from my field. I had my smartphone on a tripod looking up at the Milky Way galaxy. You can see it starting from the bottom just over that barn with the light and traveling straight up into the sky. That is actually looking back into the center of our own galaxy. That haze that you see are actually millions upon millions of stars. You can't see the individual stars because they're so far away, but there's so many of them, they emit that ghostly glow. You can also see patches where the stars are blocked from sight. That's where the big interstellar dust clouds and molecular star forming clouds are, blocking the light from those stars looking toward the center of our galaxy. Really impressed with what you can do with a smartphone. Again, there are all kinds of tutorials online and on YouTube that teach you how to do it. So this is really a lot of fun. Get up there and experiment. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave any comments or suggestions down in down in the comments. If uh, there's anything special you want me to try to take a look at, just let me know, and we'll see you in the next video.